Abrams water putty on this base that I made with the uh, styrofoam foam insulation. I'm going to use this uh, product, Durham's Water Putty, like I said. Uh, you're supposed to mix about three parts of uh, uh, powder to one part water. I put some in here. I'm going to make it a little thinner than that because of what I'm doing, what I'm using it for. I also have here some uh, taxidermy base mix that I just put in a cup here because uh, it gives a little bit different texture and there's some areas I want to give that to. I also have here some uh, pieces of plaster and, and some Durham's water putty that I went ahead and let dry in the bottom of a, of a uh, well thing like this and then just chipped it out later. I can use this for um, inside where the feet are to show uh, the concrete breaking. Anything I want to use for rubble, I can use that later. So the, the trick with this is I got to work pretty fast. Um, I got to stir this quickly and I got to spread it on uh, very quickly. So uh, I uh, just want to make sure that I'm, I'm mixing it quick and spreading it on quick because uh, it starts getting thicker then it's not able to be done. So. I'm going to head and I got some water here. I'll go ahead and mix it in. And I'll check the consistency as I stir it in. It looks like you have quite a bit in there, and as soon as you start stirring it, it goes down to nothing. That's why I keep it uh, nearby in case I want to mix it more quickly. It's still a little thick. I'll just keep a little extra water around so I can do that. Yeah, so I can just feel that it's still not mixed at the bottom yet, so I just need to stir and stir. I don't want to do it too fast because it'll splatter. When you first put it on, it doesn't want to stick real good to the edges on the side, so I usually start at the top. We'll see in a second here how this is going to work. Alright. Now I got some, some uh, chunks that aren't mixed real well, but that's okay. Just start spreading it on there. This stuff will harden up really good. It's like a, very nice and hard when you're done. But it's not quite set enough to, uh, you know, you might notice that it's not coating the top really, really well. I put on a little bit thicker and it will, but as it starts to harden up and it starts to set a little bit, it'll, it'll get a little better. There's very little work time with this. And the critical part is actually not the top what I'm doing now, but the, the sides. You see how it's kind of ble bleeding back down. It's, it's just not wanting to stick real good at this point. But we'll get there. You want to make sure and lay down plenty of newspaper. And then later before it gets super hard, you will probably want to uh, chip off around the bottom in case it uh, is making some high spots you don't want. at the bottom where it's supposed to rest on the table or wherever you keep it on the shelf. But what I'm wanting to do is simulate um, concrete in this case. And so I don't want a lot of brush marks or anything, but by the time I'm done with this, 
it's not going to uh, it's not going to show much because I'm going to be putting lots of rubble and different things on here. Just paint in these footprints a little bit. And I got plans for making these footprints look like he actually is crushing the concrete. I'll show you that later. That'll be for another video. This stuff is starting to uh, work a little better now. You can tell it's getting thicker. Once it gets too thick, then it's a whole other set of problems. in there. Get everything painted. I'll start working along into the sides a little bit. And when I get into the the taxidermy base mix that I set aside there, I've never really done it this way before, but I'm thinking while this is still wet that I'll make that, um, put some of that in there. I don't want to do a whole lot of it right now because, like I said, this is time sensitive. But here's some of the taxidermy base mix. I'm just going to sprinkle some on here like this for rubble in these areas. And I'll probably miss some water on there to get it to to dry, but the moisture in the uh, in what I'm putting on now will actually um, get pulled into that. Yeah, it's really hard to get these. Uh, These edges painted good. It doesn't want to go inside some of the little holes and stuff. But we'll work it in there. You see why I put the newspaper down. Another thing about this Durham's water putty, or any of these kind of products, like even the taxidermy base mix, you don't want to ever wash it down the drain. So when I want to clean my brush, I take it outside and use the hose outside because it goes in your drain, it'll harden your pipes up, or get in your pipes and block them. It'll be really hard for the plumber to get that out of there. This might take a couple coats, we'll see. Get what I can reach for now though. It's starting to thicken up on me. And sometimes you can add a little more water to it, but you don't want to overdo that with this stuff. One of the trickier parts of making a diorama for me. I keep that stirred. I'm going to try turning this a little bit to reach it better. Here's what I got so far um, after I did that, painting all that on there. 
it's uh, hard as a rock. Um, I am going to next time <clears throat> add some uh, rubble and uh, try to make the uh, surface of the footprints look like it's uh, cracked concrete. And uh, I got a little bit of touching up to do in a couple areas. I'll just take a little small little Dixie cup or something and put some of that um, that Durham's water putty in there. But I'll uh, I kind of use that also to help uh, seal down some of the stuff that I, I put on the top, which will be dried Durham's water putty um, sheets and uh, pieces of plaster and things like that. That's kind of a new technique I'm going to try. But uh, but anyway, yeah, this is what she looks like. And uh, yeah, I'll give you a little bit of a look at an upcoming project I'm doing. I'm going to do another Barragon. I really like to pose this as a PAL Barragon. It's a, it's a resin model. And I started building it. I haven't put in a lower jaw yet because I always leave them out until after I paint. But uh, that's something coming up. Just a little preview. So thanks for looking. And uh, talk to you later. Bye.